Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Neverwood TV on Friday the 31st of March 2017. I'm Ben Wilsden. And I'm Robbie Linnett and we're your 11 prefects. In today's episode we'll be finding out what Miss Stringfellow's Year 7 English class has been up to. We have some news about the Year 9 Royal Marines recruiting day from PE. As well as general school news and reminders. Also we'll be finding out this week's recommended reading from Miss Pollard. In English, Year 7 have been studying the opening to Shakespeare's plays. The main play the students worked on is Macbeth. Miss Stringfellow and Mr Wood's class have worked in groups to devise a play of their own based on the two scenes in Macbeth. The groups worked extremely well and did a fantastic job performing to each other. Miss Stringfellow would like to congratulate the following on their best work. Keen Kilner, Wayne Gethingrow and Katie Fullerani. These students won a prize for the best performing skills. Now onto a few announcements from the PE department. Last week, Mr O'Loughlin took a selection of Year 9 GCSE PE students to the Royal Marines, recruiting day out. Students experienced high-speed boat rides, rock climbing and high-intensity exercise sessions to promote fitness in relation to their personal exercise programmes. Also, the Year 8 football team lost a close game to Horizon despite there being 3-1 up at half-time. The love of the match goes to Tyler Presley and Louis Duff who were both outstanding throughout the game. Well done, boys. Now onto the recommended read of the week. Don't forget, if the recommended read is a book, then you will have access to a copy of this from Mrs Parkinson in the LRC. Mrs Parkinson has said that numerous students have enjoyed the recommended read so far. Thank you to Mr Mace for last week's read. Now this week, let's see what Mrs Pollard had in store for us. The book I'm recommending is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Um, I've read the Harry Potter series since I was a child. Um, I feel that J.K. Rowling covers um, some very important topics. So for example, uh, there's no such thing as normal, um, as well as things like um, if good people don't do anything in the face of adversity, then injustice will succeed. That sounds great. If you'd like to purchase your own copy, please see the link in the description below. Now onto some news and reminders. Let's start with last week's attendance and punctuality winners. Well done to last week's winner, Ryan Ackroyd in Year 10, who wins the attendance award and takes on the £15 medal of voucher. Congratulations to both our punctuality winners also, Erin Cocking in Year 7 and Kyle Wools in Year 9 on winning the punctuality award. On Wednesday this week, it was Year 8 Options Evening. We thank you to everyone who attended. It was another well turned out event. Now to last week's question, you were asked the following. Our local village, Elska, is celebrating after becoming one of the top ten places in the country to be named by Historic England. The correct answer was Heri Heritage Action Zone. It means that Elska will receive resources and funding set to help its visitors and tourism economy. Well done if you got it right. Now this week we would like to ask you the following. Where was Shakespeare born? Don't forget to comment your answer in below. The answer will be revealed in next week's episode. Thank you for watching Netherwood TV this week. See you next Friday at 10.25am.